should live his life. Guy code is an unspoken word that is spoken with the eyes. It's an unwritten guide imprinted on all men, a shared understanding that you need to know if you want to be a bro. These rules can be as simple as never sitting down with your legs crossed to tricky ones like never dating your friend's sister. In order for Guy Man not to dull, we need Sabiti Code. Welcome to Guy Code Nigeria. On this episode of Guy Code, find out how deep into the shackles of social media man has fallen in doing it for the gram. I live on social media. My address is number 35 Instagram Street off Snapchat Road. When you scavenge for information that has not been freely given to you, uh, you just might be snooping. You don't need permission. I mean, girls will do that if they have the chance. So you do your own when you get the little chance. And the most effective and efficient way to get that super hot chick you like on Instagram sliding into her DM. But first, catfishing. This is when you think that Omotala will take time off her life and career to chat with you on Facebook. Guys, um, it's not a motor love. I'm sorry. Catfishing is when you go hunting online. So basically, this person creates an online fictional persona. I see some girls, they get Bobby for Avi when you meet them in a flat. Yes, I have been catfished. I don't know what happened. Either. I just gave my number. When will I give the number? So we started chatting on WhatsApp. And then when I saw this bit, you see the gown that this girl wore. Long. Oh, I like the traffic. I was looking at, I mean, I'm in traffic, oh. Block! <laughs> I have never been catfished because I usually exercise my right to use my brain. Catfishing can never happen to me. Why? Because I don't believe things that happen online. You know, some girls, you just see them, you just, they're like, ah, they want to drink it. I know, I know. Just buy milk, please. You need. I mean, it's 2017, people. There is WhatsApp call. You can Snapchat call. There is Skype. You can FaceTime. Contrary to making social interactions easy, meeting people on the internet has become rocket science. You don't want to be catfished into meeting Taribo when you expect a Tiwa. Personally, I think people go online to make new friends because they want to make friends outside their environment, outside their region. On the internet, everyone is confident. I can wake up when I abuse Obama and nobody will do me anything. When is the right time to be comfortable with a random person or a random chick you met online? Um, I mean, I, I feel you just know when you, you guys keep conversing, you guys have conversations, you would get to a certain level where you know, okay, yeah, I mean, or cool. I think after three video calls, you, you, you know you're ready to be free with her. When people create a fake personality online, you can't help but wonder, what is freaking going on in their heads? I'm not always truthful when I meet people online. I would rather say I am protective about what I say. I don't just, I don't give too much information about myself. Never be 100% truthful. You can be 80% truthful, you can be 70% truthful, never be 100% truthful. I try to do like a 50-50. So, like my relationship, you'll never see it. I mean, if you're smart and you watch me, you may get like hints and bits of pieces here and there. People come on social media and they just like lie. And that's a new trend. <laughs> and the fact is, people are being caught like every day. I posted that little guy, Tunde Edna got caught putting up somebody else's body and tried to pass it off as his own body. Wow! Don't assume, oh, because she has mutual friends with you, she's probably not catfishing you, my brother. You are a tilapia. You are, you guess she's fishing you well. Do you know, except she has mutual friends that are girls with you. I don't know how girls do it. They have all the apps that, you know, can make a black girl White. No, I'd even say fair. I don't want him to see that it takes me like a hundred shots to get that one perfect picture. So if he goes through my phone, he's gonna see like a hundred pictures of one outfit, a hundred pictures of another outfit. I want him to think all I do is. Snap, snap, snap. One for Instagram and one for Snapchat. Oh, wait, wait, I almost forgot. That Tinder, Twitter, Flickr, the list is endless. How often do I go on social media? Uh, I'm 
I, I live on social media. My address is number 35, Instagram Street, off Snapchat Road. Social media is part of my business, it's my job, it's part of my office, you know. Um, we need to put out things we're doing, like as a musician, you need to update your fans, so. I spend like roughly four hours on social media every day. Out of the whole 24 hours in a day. Yeah, I'm always on social media, I'm always online, I'm always on Twitter, I'm always on Instagram, most especially. My check for, apart from funny stuff, I check for fine girls. Hello. Naturally fine girls. Not all those ones that have um, face good fair, hand with black. Some people lie about their location because they don't want people to know where they are. They feel the need to keep up. You know, let's take for example, an artist whose career is just already going down. We know a lot of them. I don't want to praise them any more um, than, than usual. They feel they need no, 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 no hit singles, no sales. They have the nice phones, nice cars, no money in their accounts. So they have to keep up. You know, I, I feel guys don't lie about their locations. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. But girls, you don't even know where she's coming from. I met one girl, real life. After everything, I'm going to Mushi. They, they post there in New York, but when you see them, like, oh, see, this guy is in Lecky, phase three. Oats for breakfast. Touchdown, Onisha. Take off, Dubai. Toilet selfie. I mean, where do we draw the line? Come on, guys. What are the things guys should not put on social media? The whole money thing. I said it before Jay-Z said it, it's just now he's talking, that is new album, um, 60 Minutes to 5, that he dropped. It disgusts us. Stop it. We don't like it. It's not because we don't have money, you know, which I'm not saying we don't have. They may not be 30 billion in their accounts or 30,000 right now, but it's fine. Never put your girlfriend's pictures online. There's always a better guy than you that has data. Guys tend to put up shirtless pictures, which is fine. Go ahead, show off your six pack, you do you, boo boo. But when your pants are way, like you can see, there's a line that, like from your hip bone, and then you can see part of your crotch, it's so disgusting. I don't want to see a girl with her cleavage is exposed and you're giving me that caption, half fate. Besides, you know, really and truly, six packs doesn't even work anymore. Sugar daddies have one pack, six bank accounts. That's why you can be posted. Be Dangote's son, you can write whatever you want. And it's fine. I have a big problem with guys who take pictures in front of cars that are not their own. I mean, if I just see one phantom around and I say, guys, I take me, give me one, give me one. Ladies, feel free. Show skin. As long as you're not fat. Show skin on the gram, ladies. You know, it's good to always believe in yourself. It's good to always, you know, let's see that new side of you. To my future in law out there, I don't believe in girls showing skin for social media. Very sexy as it is, and it can be very appealing to the eyes, but you know, don't do it. Everyone happens to be slaying on social media these days, <laughs> including the guys. Guys? Slaying? Isn't that a little bit too extreme? I mean, never have too, as a guy, never have too much pictures of your face. I mean, are you that bored? If you go to my Instagram feed, you wouldn't really see a selfie of me, which is, you know, great. For a light-skinned guy, if me, a light-skinned guy, should say, don't post selfies. I mean, look, look at his lips. I think 30, 30 pictures in a year, not bad. But it's not the same um, background, though. They change location. You see you are gonna jack up. You did big man show jack up. You go for toilet near room jack up. Snap chat and video jack up. Oh no no no. Pro tip. How to know if she's real. Number one. She's gonna want to talk to you all the time. If a girl likes a guy, she wants to talk to him. If she's keeping it to texting, whatsapping, eh, she's hiding something. Number two, she's going to want to see you, and as soon as possible. A girl likes you, she wants to see you, she wants to meet you in person, she wants to make sure that you're as great as she has made you up in her head. If she doesn't want to see you, she's always coming up with excuses, excuse after excuse as to why you can't meet. Uh, red flag, she's not real. Guy code.
pro tip how to be a generous lover listen guys you gotta be just that you gotta be generous okay it's, it's not always about you sometimes all right make it all about her all right do whatever it takes and if you can do that then you know for a fact that you've done it for her you can do that sometimes doesn't have to be every time sometimes you do it for you so explore all right give it a shot that's like the thing guy code Welcome back to Guy Code Nigeria, your handbook on how to be a proper Niger guy. Like the DSS and the EFCC, guys and girls are always looking for something. I don't think anyone has like the, 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 the actual right to look at someone else's phone because when that ain't your phone, it, you, it's unless you're my, maybe like my mom or something. You don't need permission. I mean, girls will do that if they have the chance. So you do your own when you get the little chance because they're always with their phone. If there's trust, I mean, I could give you, I could leave my phone with you, I could give you my password, you know. You would only be afraid to do that when you know you have some things to hide. Uh, personally, I don't think it's wrong. I think everyone has the right to look. A Nigerian boyfriend would have bought, I bought that phone for her, so it's my phone. Guys, if you're ever going to snoop through your friend's phone, don't look for any competition with any guy. Look for the conversations with her best friends, because that's where they're going to spill all the tea. Don't just go to a gallery, I don't do all those ones. Go on WhatsApp, go to the search menu, type sex. If I'm going through your phone, I'm, I'm probably trying to end the relationship already. I still do not understand the need to snoop. I mean, if I want to know something, I ask. Are you serious? Yes, I ask a hacker to hack into her phone. That's what I would do. What could drive a man to snoop his girl's phone? She probably is acting weird, never takes messages around him. Everyone wants to be proven right, all right? Someone has a suspicion, she's like, he or she is like, yo, I am 100% sure my, my, my girl's cheating on me. You want to be, you, you, you want to get some proof. As guys, we always cheat, so you have to check your girl's phone. Or rather, you just have to show you're the only one cheating. But if she is, then you're probably not doing something right. So you're probably giving her the reason to snoop through your phone. So I think it's more of the guy's fault than it is the girl's fault. Girls snoop because they basically want to know what their boyfriend or their husband is up to. They want to know what's happening. Men are generally very secretive. I think girls always want to know what's on their base phone because uh, most, most times they feel insecure and most times they don't really trust the guy. And sometimes the guys might be funny about it. But yeah, it's just for information. And women, we think everything is need to know. We always want to know. Why don't you just ask? <laughs> Sorry, ask who? You're never gonna get the truth, are you serious? She will even laugh at you. So, I mean, you just have to wait for her to sleep. Like 4.45 a.m. Guys, who are we kidding? If there's nothing to hide, why so much security? Why does she want to access my phone? What's on my phone that she wants to access? There's nothing on my phone. The only thing I do with my phone is to call her, so she's just gonna see her number on my phone. Yes, they're necessary in case your phone gets stolen. If your phone is locked, I mean your files, everything that is personal is protected. If you live in Lagos or Accra, you might want to keep your phone handy because might, you might get robbed at any time. Let's be real here. You need phone codes, you need security locks, you need padlock. Anything will go lock your phone, lock your DM, you need them because Nigerian girls never give up. They want to know. I might, I might not allow my girl go through my phone. And that's also dependent on who I'm dating. That's why it's my phone, it's not our phone. So no. Why, do you, why, why, why is she going through on my phone? What does she want for my phone? No. Not like there's anything to hide when I'm in a relationship, but that's crazy. Absolutely crazy, no. No way, no way. <laughs> what? Like social media is just a bit much, cause like I get a billion messages. Are you really going to be taking your time to go through them? Congratulations, now you have your answers. Deal with it. I mean, I snoop and I find out she's cheating. First of all, I know I'm already disappointed, highly disappointed, knowing the kind of person I am. I'll cry now. Because, like, what? If I was snooping, then chances are I was suspecting her of something. Uh, so I'm gonna be like, that was right. I would probably just leave. My girlfriend cheated on me last year, raw girl. The funny thing was that the guy called the call. Like, I don't already catch them, you get? So the guy called the call, say, I'll find no vex. 
Guys should love you, actually. Okay. Okay.